Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, and I'd like to uh, thank the Honourable Member for this question. Um, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, we uh, cannot deny the fact that it has been a very challenging time for us. And of course, I do uh, stand here and wish to acknowledge all the government officials, particularly the Ministry for Health, and perhaps next to the Ministry for Health, this is one of the organizations that uh, felt the brunt uh, of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic in as far as uh, the resources and the employment of, uh, of uh, police personnel uh, that uh, uh, were heavily involved and perhaps uh, stretched to the limit as well uh, throughout this period. And I wish to acknowledge the uh, Commissioner of Police and uh, uh, his senior management the four uh, the divisional uh, commissioners, uh, police commissioners, uh, for their uh, uh, continued uh, commitment uh, throughout this period. Apart from the COVID-19 response, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the Fiji Police Force continued to carry out uh, normal police functions. Uh, if I may mention a few, uh, one is the investigation of cases, uh, the prosecution of uh, offenders, community policing that helps uh, in awareness as well, uh, the policing of roads uh, that continued, uh, drug raids, uh, and of course uh, maintenance of law and order, and of course uh, uh, a, towards a peaceful uh, society as well. Uh, let me briefly uh, highlight um, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, some of the, uh, the key uh, activities as part of the police operations, particularly uh, when we had the, the COVID uh, uh, protocols in place. I know that throughout Fiji, there were a total of 101 checkpoints established uh, to help uh, in controlling uh, the movement of people and, of course, uh, the enforcement of the the curfew laws that were put in place as well, that was not an easy task. And particularly, uh, I, uh, for one, witnessed uh, the amount of uh, efforts um, uh, made by uh, our, our serving personnel uh, in trying to uh, meet uh, the requirements of the tasks. And of course, we have uh, lockdown areas as well uh, in uh, uh, in Lotoka uh, initially, and of course parts of Suva, and uh, in Bunolew in Soso and uh, uh, Bunidangi in Rakheti, uh, and of course uh, in the uh, a Muslim League settlement in Nambua. Uh, again, uh, this uh, has really stretched uh, the, uh, the work of the Fiji Police Force. And uh, uh, most importantly, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, the, particularly for the arrests uh, of uh, those that did not adhere or comply with the orders, uh, there were uh, more than a thousand cases of failure to comply with, uh, with, case, with orders, uh, which involved about 2,664 personnel. Uh, so, uh, again, Mr. Speaker, sir, it's a very challenging time not only for the Fiji Police Force, but of course I'm indeed thankful for the amount of work that they carried out uh, during this period. Thank you.